this actually goes back probably greater than five years, probably about six years, because the Carmack Stewart project was done in two phases. Phase one, which was the extension of the 138 kV system, which is our main transmission system, and it extended from Carmax up to Pelly. And the main reason for that, that was done just over two years ago. And the main reason for that extension was to connect up Minto Mine as a new customer and exactly and Pelly as a, as another customer off the grid because at that time they were running diesel. So that was phase one, and that was done approximately two, two and a half years ago. Phase two, is which we just finished, is then extending that 138 line from Pelly into Stewart Crossing, which allowed us to tie the two grids together. And so basically that was about a six-year project. My name is Lawrence Jowdry, and I'm a professional engineer, and I am the Director of Engineering Services and Operations at Yukon Energy. I was primarily the owner's representative, and again, it was very much a team effort, but I was one of the leaders of the team, and that meant that when questions came about from the consultants or the contractors, I was responsible to make sure that the right people in this company provided the information or answers to those people to get the project done, and then ultimately I was the one who signed off and accepted it on behalf of Yukon Energy. The main practical benefit to Yukoners is that it allows Yukon Energy to make efficient use of the hydro generation that we have. Before this, this Carmack Stewart was completed, we had two distinct grids, the northern grid and the southern grid, or Mayo Dawson and the Whitehorse Asiac facilities, and there was no way of transferring the hydro energy between them. So the completion of this project allowed for that ability to make transfer so that when we have more water here so we can generate more hydroelectricity, we're able to ship that up north or vice versa. Some of the biggest challenges that, that were faced were just, like we're a small company and we've had, we had Carmack Stewart at the same time, we had Mayo B at the same time, we started improvements at our existing Mayo Hydro facility as well, and we had our Ajac third turbine project, and all of these were going on at the same time. We're a very small company and we have only limited resources, so it was a challenge to make best use of our resources that we could. The enjoyment of getting things done and challenges because like, we're going through a major growth, like tying the grids together, which again, I'll give you the, I actually have the time and date because it was June 16th at 1928. 01. And that was a historic moment because at that point we had two grids, we're now one grid. So it was a historic moment in Yukon history.